Hi everyone, my name is Nadia. I hope you are so well. In this video, I will explain the questions that human resource professionals ask during the interview and how the ideal answers should be. As a human resource professional with 18 years of experience, I aim to enable you to think like human resource professionals and give them the ideal answers that are most appropriate for you. I'm not going to talk about the things you shouldn't do. My main focus is on what you have to do. By the way, you can follow the questions and answers from my timeline in the explanation section. Additionally, you can check the subtitles if you want to watch them in your language. What do you consider to be your weaknesses? What your interviewer is really trying to do with this question is to gauge your self-awareness honestly. Strike a balance by thinking of something that you struggle with but that you are working to improve. Because I truly love my work and hand ambitious career goals, it can be difficult for me to keep a healthy balance between work and my personal life. I had seen a negative impact on my motivation and focus when I ignore my personal needs. As a result, I have made it a point to focus on creating space in my schedule to focus on volunteering and spending time with my family. Taking small actions like putting my phone on silent during time is helpful. When I maintain a good work-life balance, I have found my output is more quantitative. I can get more work done and I feel excited about coming to work in the morning. What is your great accomplishment? Don't be shy or humble. This interview question is a chance to break about yourself and share what you are truly proud of professionally. Pick a professional accomplishment whether or not they specifically ask for something professional. Pick something that relatively recent if possible and something that is related to your current career path and the job you are interviewing for. Choose something that had a large overall impact on your career, something important and significant. Get specific and talk about real results and data whenever possible. What was the impact of your work? After you answer this interview question, be ready for follow-up questions. Even if you gave an outstanding answer, the employer might want to learn more. Practice your answer, nothing comes out perfectly first time. So, run through your explanation for what is your great professional achievement before the interview starts. My great professional achievement was completing my bachelor's degree in four years with a 3.8 GPA. I had no financial support from my family and had to work a full-time job by pursuing my economics degree. This taught me to prioritize my time built great habits and stay focused on my goals and proved my accomplishment and I feel that what I learned is going to give me a big advantage in my career now. At my previous internship I had to build a database and it took forever to input at each data point. After two straight days of entering data I knew I could be more efficient. I wrote a simple program that took the data to far and add it to the database's existing template so that I didn't have to copy and paste the data into each line individually. While it wasn't complicated, it was the first time I used my programming skills outside of schools the streamlined uh, process. So, I proud of it. The company didn't expect me to do it and it saved me and the company time and energy. I'm always looking 
for out of the box solutions and this was the first time I got to do so professionally. Why are you leaving your current job? You can be sure that these questions will be asked. Keep everything absolutely positive. You have nothing to the game by acting negatively about your current employer. Instead, frame the topics in a way that demonstrates your willingness to say new opportunities and then the role you are interviewing is more appropriate for you. Condition 1. Because the workplace policies have begun to force me in my changing conditions due to my residence in a different location after marriage. Or Condition 2. Since the company decided to change the location, they made an offer to continue working with me. But I couldn't accept the offer because the situation would force my conditions. Although it was difficult to leave a good team, I completed to transfer my duties and quit my job. I decided that I wanted to work with you by focusing myself more on my desires and goals. I'm ready for this position and the responsibilities it requires. If you have been dismissed, if there is a situation such as a change of location or closing of a department, explain the situation and say that they made an offer according to the new conditions. Still, you couldn't accept the offer and left on good terms. You can change the focus by connecting the subject to your patient to the position you applied. Condition 3. Due to the managerial training, the decision change in the new process didn't match my expectations and career goals. Because of this, we have decided to part our ways. Now, you are company, this position fits my education, experience and goals. And I'm very excited about the work I will do with you in line with my focus. Why was there a gap in your employment? Maybe you were taking care of children or aging parents, dealing with health issues or traveling the world. Maybe it just took you a long time to land the right job. Whatever the reason, you should be prepared to discuss the gap on your resume. Seriously, practice saying your answer out loud. The key is to be honest though that doesn't mean you have to share more details than you are comfortable with. If there are skills qualities you owned or gained in your time away from the workforce, you can also talk about how those would help you excel in this role. My previous employer had quite different expectations from me. Although I tried my best to match them, we couldn't come on the same page. Since that incident, I have spent my time introspecting and have used this time to learn new things to acquire more skills. I feel I'm ready to give my 100% to this new role with new skills and understanding. What are your salary expectations? The number one rule of answering this question is Figure out your salary requirements ahead of time. Do your research on sites and reaching out your network. Be sure to take your experience, education, skills and personal needs into account to give a salary range. But keep the bottom of your state range towards to meet the high points of what you are actually hoping for. When can you start? Your goal here should be the set realistic expectation that work for both you and the company. If you are ready to start immediately, if you are unemployed for example, you could offer the start within the week. But if you need to give notice to your current employer, don't be afraid to say so people will understand and respect that will 
plan to wrap things upright. It's also legitimate to want to take a break between jobs, so you might want to say you have previous schedule commitments to attend to and try to be flexible if they really need someone to start a bit sooner. At my current position I would need to train a replacement and finish all my uh, tasks. Two weeks should be a sufficient amount of time. I should be available to start working week of the October 24th, 30th. Consider that the interviewer wants to make sure you are exciting about this role company and that you will be motivated to succeed if they pick you. Uh, so think back to what has energized you in previous roles in point. What made your eye light up when you are read this job description? Pick one thing, make sure it's relevant to the role and company you are interviewing for and try to leave in a story and help illustrate your point. If you are on which you should be, your enthusiasm will be palpable. My biggest motivation is success. This is what keeps me motivated all the time, performance level higher. I believe that aligning my motivational source alone with the company's values and vision is a win-win path that will wrap sweeter fruits in my career. Knowing that I have light at the tunnel encourages me, inspires me to go through the darks of the tunnel. It may be professional or personal life. Success always acts as a booster to me and my work.